What's up, y'all? I have a review for you guys. I just reached into my little cooler and realized, you know what? This is one of those things that I should probably tell the people about because it is highly functional and durable and has done a great job for me for years. So today, I'm going to do a quick um, product demonstration and a little bit of a review of an Ice Mule cooler. All right, take a look at it here. You can see it's just a bag cooler. You can see how it is constructed where it rolls up. I'll show you. You just unroll the top. You roll it up and bend it back and hook it to latch it. But it's just a soft-sided insulated cooler. Now this guy I've had for roughly four years, four to five years, and I cannot, I don't know how many river miles I've done with this thing, countless, countless river miles, and look where I'm at today. It's beautiful out here, isn't it? War Eagle Creek, lots of smallmouth, been a great day. But anyway, point is, the soft-sided ice mule cooler. You guys are surely familiar with the Yeti version and everything else, but Yetis are really expensive. This guy comes in at like maybe $55 retail. This one, this particular one, um, when I picked it up, I got it on clearance for 30, so it's an even better deal. Those make me really, really happy. But these, like this version, they have different tiers of how insulated, but the one I have here comes in about $50 retail, which is far cheaper than a Yeti. And like some of the perks, I'll show you the reason you get a soft sided perk uh, cooler for the river is so when you roll it up, you put that guy on the deck of your kayak, you put your straps over it, it rides way better than a hard sided cooler. You ever try strapping a hard side cooler? It did that freaking crap for years. It was ridiculous. Anyway, this thing works really, really well, and that's why I want to tell you about it. Four years of wearing a tear and abuse, and it's done a great job, and it's still holding up. But when I reached in here just now, it has been packed with ice for about nine hours. It has been riding on the back of this kayak in the baking sun. I would show you my legs, but it's a gross situation right now. They're beet red, and it's going to be a bad day. And that's with me having a base tan and sunblock. Anyway... I say that not to give you too much information, but to let you know, it is a baking hot day today. The The UV is really, really bad, and it's been seven hours sitting on this deck in essentially no shade whatsoever, and we still have ice. You look down in here, you can see we've had melt, absolutely. Of course, I've been using it for seven hours. There's nothing left but this last bottle of water right around the corner from our last stop of the day. Ice. The water bottle is still ice cold, very, very cold. Feels excellent. You can almost kind of tell by looking at it the condensation. And you look down in the cooler, you can see the ice. There's plenty of it left. And that, y'all, is actually pretty impressive for a soft sided cooler. The perk and the reason why I carry a soft sided cooler, and you might be interested, is they are very, very, very easy to carry on a kayak. Their packability is great. You just roll them up tight. Slap them down, put them underneath the straps, and you're good to go. But they typically don't keep ice as well as a hard-sided. But hard-sided are a pain in the butt. There's nothing on a kayak that fits a hard-sided cooler, unless you have a big old, you know, fishing kayak that's kind of built for that. But I'm not a bougie. I'm not after that kind of time on the water. I want to get down dirty by nature. But soft-sided coolers are great for that. So when you get a soft-sided cooler like this, they can bake on a kayak deck in the sun for a full day of floating eight solid hours seven to eight solid hours in the beating down sun super hot outside that's impressive and that's what you want like this is not going to be a multi-day bag it's just like not going to be but they have ice mule has a higher tiers that will last longer this one in particular it's not going to be a multi-day bag but for one whole dang day on the river coming in at 50 bucks and maybe you get lucky like me and catch one for 30 bucks y'all that's bang for your buck right there four years this thing has really really held its weight so anyway just wanted to throw that out there because it just dawned on me hey i could get a quick review in and people seem to like these review videos so you guys should consider getting you an ice mule cooler anyway that's it for now i will catch you guys in the next video